I uh, wa- uh, met someone on the street who was who had worked on the Mike Douglas show, who was now working on Good Morning America, mm. and uh, they were considering a directorial change. And I said, "Sure, I can get up at four in the morning." And so I did for the next 21 years. Mm. Directed Good Morning America for seven and. CBS This Morning, which became the early show uh, for another 14, and uh, and found a world that that where my skill set was sort of uh, ideal, ideal for uh, just the ability to stay focused and put two hours of television on the air every morning and and do it with efficiency and uh, and. and had a good 21 years. Probably my most valuable selling skill at the time was to say, I can make this show uh, seem, make this transition seamless and that, that, that people watching won't know that there's now someone else calling the shots. And so I, in that show, that was, it was, that was a pretty intense high mountain to climb to, to be able to reproduce the, a, a look that had uh, so many remotes, and it was so different every day. And there was split screens, and there was a, a, a monitor in use. And 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 uh, Good Morning America at the time was hosted by uh, David Hartman and, and Joan London, and uh, and they had a style and a com- chemistry that had to be captured in the right way. And uh, there were so many locations on the set that had to be properly uh, shot and gotten to. And m- m- there was a camera choreography that was uh, that was involved. And I, um, I took pride in that challenge and catching up quickly. And but you know, a year or so later, it came time to make some changes, make some adjustments, and revise and refresh. And uh, and I, I felt pretty good about being part of that too. And that was new graphics, new music, new animations, and new set layout, new furniture, and uh, and occasionally whole new parts of the set. And a new host when Charles Gibson. That's right. Yeah. And um, I have my, some of my fondest memories had to do with both those guys, both David and Charlie, in different ways, were really fine people who cared about the work and cared about the audience and cared about the material, the editorial content, much more than they cared about um, how they looked or how they were received. or uh, They just were hard-working uh, really f- uh, fine, fine people, mm. both of whom retired early, and I'm not sure why. I, I, I've run into both of them since and, and shared great memories. And Charlie Gibson and I were in Venice for a Reagan conference. And all of the press people stayed at the Lido, which is a, an island that's uh, just south of, of the main city. And to get to where the conference was and where our set was, we had to take these little speedboats from the Lido to, uh, to the, the center city. And at one point, we were on this, just the two of us, on the speedboat. And we were both complaining about how the prices had been jacked up to rip off the American press and how we weren't very happy with the technicians that had been supplied to us by the Italians. We were complaining about life in general. As we rode on the speedboat across the bay to Venice and almost at the exact same time we looked at each other and started to laugh, realizing that we were complaining about the opportunity to be on this speedboat and just riding into this beautiful, remarkable, magical city. We were being paid to do it. We were part of uh, this historic event that involved the President of the United States. And all we had to do was uh, was, uh, get over there and and do a two-hour television show. And we both laughed out of our own sense of entitlement and how jaded we had become and realized that neither of us should, should have been. And it was a really, really a nice moment. Yeah. Uh, and that kind of 
slap in the face. Uh, I, I do often. I walk down the street and see so many people who hate what they do and they live from weekend to weekend. They can't wait for vacation, or can't wait to retire, that they find their work gr uh, uh, as drudgery and, and, and I get to, to be a part of making people laugh and clap and, and work with brilliant uh, people from all walks of life and, and genius writers and designers and, and, and cast members. And uh, I keep reminding myself that I have, I, I don't deserve to be jaded about uh, how, how much I've been blessed. Mm. Getting up at 3 a.m. is no thing. <laughs> it's not good for you. And it does uh, affect your health in lots of ways. It's, um, it's not healthy for marriages. <laughs> uh, it's not good in, on several levels, but it's still, it's still a, a fine, challenging a job that, that, that I, I, I don't re regret any of those 21 years.